I'm coming to you today like a proper trailer with that tip measure on the neck. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Pilim's Secrets. If it's your first time coming across my channel, welcome. Please do subscribe to my channel. It'll make me very, very, very happy, okay? And if you're a returning subscriber or if you're a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed, so I have a couple of projects lined up already and I thought it would be easier going forward if I just made patterns. So when we need to start sewing, we can just grab our patterns, place it on the fabric or maybe just make a few adjustments and then just cut without having to measure our body measurements on the fabric again. It's going to take a long time. So patterns make it easier, faster to actually sew. So the first step to pattern making is taking accurate body measurements. If you don't take your body measurements accurately, it'll be too tight or too big. You just have issues with whatever you make. So um, I'm going to show you how to accurately, correctly take your body measurements. Um, you can have someone take it for you, but if you don't have anyone, I'm going to show you how to take your body measurements yourself. So the first tip when measuring yourself is for you to wear a fitted outfit. I'm just wearing a really fitted tank top. Um, so you want to do this because you want to take your exact body measurements. You do not want extra allowance. You can add extra allowance and ease to your pattern but not your body measurements. And then you can also consider the style and the fit of what you want to make later on after taking your view measurements. The second tip is to ideally stand in front of a mirror. I have a mirror in front of me right now. So you can see everything you're doing. Make sure it's flat. The tip is not like folded at the back or somewhere else. You can see that everything is flat and straight. So stand in front of a mirror. Okay. And then we can start taking our measurements. Yeah, I forgot to mention. mention. I'm actually measuring in inches. So some people like to measure in centimeters. I find inches better. Maybe I'm just used to it, but I'm measuring in inches. So the first measurement is the shoulder measurements. It's also called the shoulder to shoulder measurements. It's different from the back width actually. Uh, I don't usually use a back width when I'm doing my basic buddies vlog. So the first thing is, like I said, the shoulder measurement. So you're gonna start from this shoulder. There's like a bone here on the shoulder from that point to the other shoulder. So you're gonna take your measuring tape and go from this point to this point you can feel the bone that's how you can tell like it's the shoulder point and mine is like 14.5 so make sure you're wearing a bra and the bust measurement it's the widest point of the, the bust <laughs> so just wrap it around and make sure it's straight at the back if you're wearing a bra it should be the measuring tape should be right on your bra strap and you just want to take it round if you're not sure where's the widest part, just shuffle it up and shuffle it down. Just so make sure you have the right measurement. Don't add any ease to this one. So mine is about 35.5. The next measurement is the bust points, or it's called the shoulder to nipple, the shoulder to bust points. So, or is it called the apex as well? Yeah, so many names. Just know all the terms. So you're gonna start from the nape of your, the nape of your neck. Just the base of your neck and take it down to your nipple point your apex point uh, and mine is 10 so this is called the shoulder to nipple measurement or bust point measurement 10. the next measurement is the bust band you need this measurement when you are um, drafting dots on your body's pattern so you're gonna start from one nipple point to the other okay it's just the the, the distance between one nipple to the other nipple and mine is seven, so record yours down. So we're moving down the body right now, and the next measurement is the waist measurement. This one is quite tricky because people like your waist in different places. Some like the grandma, sorry. <laughs> it's the empire waist. Some people like it on the natural waist, like I do. Some people like it low waist. And it also depends on the style of the outfit you're making. So um, I'm gonna make mine on my natural waist. It's just right here. The natural curve of the body the smallest part or to find that you can just bend and where there's a dip or where there's a fold that's your waist so i'm gonna take this rope and tie it around my waist so that i can use that as a reference point i don't go too high or below when i'm taking the next set of measurements so yeah that's a rope around my waist that's the reference point so i'm gonna take my measuring tape and measure that Make sure your tape rule is straight. And mine is 30. Make sure it's straight at the back. 
and my waist measurement is 30. Next measurement is the front waistline, which starts from the nape of the neck, the base of the neck, to the waist. So put your tape measure here at the nape of the neck. And I wouldn't advise you to just go straight down. I wouldn't, especially if you have a big, yeah, not a big bust. Especially if you have a fuller bust, you want to like glide your tape measure down to your under bust and then to your waistline don't just put it straight because then you would account for the curve or the circumference of the bust so place it on the shoulders and smooth it under the bust and take it down to the waist and record that and mine is 17. so if you're going to be working with sleeves the next set of measurements are for the sleeves you're going to take your bicep measurement which is like the biggest part of your arm Place it around your bicep, not here, your bicep, or if you have any other part of your arm that is bigger. Measure it, and you can also measure both arms because they, they are different. Um, I didn't take the, the biggest arm measurement. So mine here is 12.2. To take your armhole, you can just wrap the tape measure around your arm and adjust it so you can actually move your arm there keep adjusting it keep pulling to get the right one All right, i think this is my armhole measurement let's see what it is um 19.5 so take your armhole measurements you can ideally have someone take this measurement for you let's just throw the sleeve length you start from the shoulder point that remember that bone and you would also want to measure the curve um, put it over there <laughs> and put your hands in your waist and just guide it down to the length of the sleeve that you want so a full length my full length is um, 22 well, Moving on to the lower part of the body, it's going to be the hip measurement and the hip measurement is the widest part of your hip including your bum. Um, it's not here, it's the widest part of your bum. So just wrap it around and take the measurement. And like the bust circumference, to make sure that you've gotten the widest part, slide it up and slide it down and see if your tape rule moves to the widest measurement. So mine is 39. The next measurement which I find very important for skirts is the hip depth. The hip depth. So take it from your waist to the widest point. This is also called the hip length, uh, but I call it the hip depth measurement. Um, take it to the widest point of your hip around and mine is 9. But the standard is 8, but mine right now is 9. So the last measurements or last last measurement is the the length. If you're making a skirt, if you're making a dress, how long do you want it to be? You can measure from your waist to um, the middle of your tie for a mini skirt or a mini dress or trousers or shorts. You can measure to your knee for a knee, knee length skirt and you can measure all the way down to the floor for a maxi length um, skirt trouser dress and yeah that's it. so that's it how to take your body measurements correctly i'm sure you'll be able to take your body measurements if you wear the right type of clothes you're wearing the right type of bra and you're just patient with yourself you'll be able to take your measurements correctly i don't know i'm excited today because i'm about to make some new patterns i need new patterns okay so this is it for this video on how to take your body measurements my next set of videos will be uh the basic block pattern uh, the basic skirt pattern and the basic sleep pattern so i hope you stay tuned for that so for now i'm gonna say bye and see you in my next video